Hi there, Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai. Today we're going to be working small. We're going to be potting this Ficus religiosa into this small pot. And uh, thanks Gary from Houston, Texas for sending the pot to me and some tools to work on this project today. Here's a close-up of the pot. You can see my fingers. It's tiny, but it's, uh, it's a nice size for a small bonsai. I've picked this tree to go in the pot. I think it'll fit nicely. Um, it's a Ficus religiosa, a fairly large leaf bonsai, but I think in this pot it'll, it should stay quite tiny. So it'll be a good experiment to see how small the leaves we can get on this uh, Ficus religiosa. So the first step, we want to get the old tree out of this pot, root prune it, and get it ready for planting in our new pot. So let's go do that now. We're outside now for our repotting. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to clean up the tree. Uh, there's a lot we can do. There's a lot of stubs on it that we can clean up. Uh, I'm going to remove the leaves. So then we're going to put it in the greenhouse. And in that humid, warm air, it'll grow its new roots after our root pruning. And we'll grow new leaves on it. These leaves are quite large, they're from winter time. So we want to grow new smaller leaves. So let's start. Um, the first thing we'll do is we'll do our leaf pruning. So we're gonna remove all the old leaves. There we go. Missed one, there. Next we're gonna look at the tree and do what cleanup work we can do to it. Looking at the tree, I we've got some stubs in that we can clean up. Um, so let's do that. I'm just going to use woodworking tools. And we're going to come in and carve them away to make them just sort of a concave cut. So when the tree heals itself, it'll be almost flush. And so someday, you won't even see it. So that one's cleaned up really nicely. Uh, I've got another stub here I can clean up. There we go. There, so you can see that's a nice concave cut there that'll heal really nicely. Uh, we have some more up top here. We're going to carve those away. Just like that. And we've got one at the back here. Or the front, wherever it is. So we're going to carve that away too. There we go. And then we have one on top we can do right here. If you don't have a nice pair of uh, concave bonsai tools for doing pruning. You can use shears or scissors and then just go in with carving tools and clean them up like this so to, you get a nice concave cut and it'll heal nicely. Uh, there's one on this branch here we can clean up.
With ficus trees, you don't need to seal the cuts because you get that nice latex sap that uh, comes out and seals the cut for you. And we need to prune away a branch here. That's uh, there we go. When you're working on small trees, everything becomes more important. Uh, the design of the tree, the branch placement. Because your eye is focused on such a small thing, it sees everything at once. And uh, yeah, so it, it's very important to make a small tree really detail it well. At the base of the tree, we want to clean away the moss growing on the trunk and we're going to strip the moss off the pot or the soil before we remove it from this pot. We're going to save it because this moss is used to sunlight and it's growing nice and green so we're going to save it and plant it in our new pot. We want to pick the moss off the trunk just like that and we want to peel off our the moss on the surface so let's get that off this little tree is quite old um, I got my ficus religiosa I bought a clump of trees about um, 15 years ago and in that clump of trees there was there was one large tree, which you've seen in other videos, and then there's about uh, 10 other little trees in the pot, and this is one of them. So, this little tree is actually at least 15 years old. It's probably a little older than that because it was probably a few years old when I got it. So, amazingly, it stayed quite small which happens if you keep it in a small pot and you prune it quite often it uh, it'll stay small that's the whole idea of bonsai okay so we're ready to get the tree out of the pot now so this is a plastic pot so we just want to flex it around a bit to loosen up the soil from the edges and then we'll grab the base of the tree and just pull up I can't remember when this tree was last potted. I, I'm guessing four years ago, maybe? Four years ago? That's only a guess, I'm not really sure. Okay, so let's start uh, combing out our roots and we'll see what roots we have. So we've got definitely not a typical radial root base. Um, however, we always work with what we have. There's our drainage screen. We'll pull that out. So there's our roots. They're uh, less than ideal, I guess is the word. Not so great. However, we'll fix them. We'll get them going again. So I'm gonna clean up here and wash the roots and we'll be right back. Here's our root system. Um, We've got kind of the typical, I don't know what you call them, bulbous or potato roots, where the trunk kind of flares out and then it goes back in. This happens a lot on ficuses. Uh, the best way to correct it is to actually cut the root in the center. So you keep all that flare and then you grow a new ring of roots around the cut point which will happen if you keep the tree humid and in, you know, nice conditions. Hi, kitty. Hello, kitty. Kitty's come to visit. This is, uh, we call him the Black Panther. He's a stray cat that just showed up in the backyard last winter and we started feeding him. He was very afraid of people. Uh, he wouldn't go near anyone at first. And then eventually, Careful on there, kitty. Eventually he got used to us and uh, now he's like our outdoor cat that hangs around you a lot. He's a really nice guy. 
Do you need some petting? I think the little kitty needs some petting. Oh, look at him. Look at that kitty. Oh, he's so happy. Anyway, back to the ficus. On this tree, we're going to do that. We're going to cut off all the roots, or most of them, at our widest point in the trunk and regrow our radial root spread. So here we go. I'm going to come in right here and cut. Halfway through. I'll come around here. Try and get the rest of it. It's coming. We just gotta get in here a little more. There. So there's the roots we cut off. And here's what we've got left. So we've got a few fine feeder roots, you know, a few surface roots. Not very many, but we're hoping to regrow them all. So it's kind of like planting a large cutting. It should do well in the greenhouse. I've got my drainage screen in place and I'm going to fill the pot with regular bonsai soil. We're not going to go finer because ficus uh, roots really like to grow in a really porous soil. So let's get our tree now. Now we have to pick a front for the tree. this it's sort of a slanting style with a back branch I think we'll go with that for now we'll put it offset in the pot a little bit just over to here and we'll fill it in so we're just going to get our soil leveled out now uh, I do have to leave some room for a layer of moss which will help the soil from drying out while we're growing our root system. I think that'll do. And then we'll get our moss and start placing it around the tree. I'm just scraping the soil layer off the back of the moss. I think we'll give the tree a watering too. A pots like this, you don't need to use a watering can on them. You can just use a mist bottle like this and just spray them to water them and just keep doing this until the water runs out the bottom of the pot and you've got the soil soaked nicely. That looks good. Make sure it's pressed down nicely. This moss is just moss that was Collected it from a sunny spot like driveways or you know around buildings and stuff. Good place to collect mosses around ice arenas because um, they're always condensing water and you'll find some good moss around skating rinks. So we've got our moss layer on. I'm just going to give it another water. And we'll go inside and finish the cleanup on the tree. We're back inside. We're going to do uh, some trimming on the moss, both in height and clean it up from the lip of the pot. So let's. Do we just want to stop the moss from overhanging the lip of the pot, so we'll just trim it with scissors. Pushing it down. And same with the back here. We just want to Turn it away. Make sure it's all pressed down nicely. Next we want to prune the moss down for height just to keep it short and trim.
which isn't easy to do, but uh, as the moss gets more established, it becomes easier. It doesn't lift up as easily as uh, freshly planted moss. Trimming your moss on uh, tiny trees like this is really important to get the, you don't want really coarse moss on a little tiny tree. You want nice, fine looking moss and it makes your tree look in scale or makes your tree look larger. It makes it more tree-like. There we go. That will do, I think. So here's the final shot of our work for today. I think it, uh, I think it looks good in the pot. It's kind of a, almost a slanting style. It's got some balance to it. The main trunk comes forward a little bit and it's got a back branch. So we've got to grow roots and leaves, which will sort of come in together, hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll, we'll get the tree in the greenhouse and uh, see how it does this summer. That's it for today. We've done a lot of steps on this tree to get it from a small, small tiny plant to a small bonsai. We're hoping to grow a good root system and a branch structure this year. So Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai, do something green today. Buy things with less packaging. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.